Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you all of the apps that I have on my iPhone. Um, there have been a couple people who wanted me to do a video on everything I have application wise so that's what this one's all about. So it's sort of cluttered but I sort of like it like this so I can see all of my apps on every page. I don't really have very many apps. Um, there's about 36 App Store apps, maybe 8 jailbroken ones and then you have all of your stock apps. So I'm going to start with the with this row here because this is where all the non-stock apps begin. So we have Cydia, a, uh, a required app for jailbroken users. Sidecorder lets you record videos on your iPhone 2G or 3G. Yes, um, GV Mobile Plus is a very nice app if you are a Google Voice user. iFile is a file browser. It has a bunch of different features. Install this lets you get free apps. Um, we don't support piracy, so you should only use install us on a try before you buy basis, which is what the main purpose of that is anyway. Beehive is for instant messaging, boxcar is for push notifications for Twitter and other things, Facebook is obvious, Tweety is for Twitter, the best Twitter client for the iPhone, in my opinion. Twit lets lets you listen to this week in tech um, over your internet connection, whether it be Edge, 3G, or Wi-Fi, so that's pretty nice. I usually listen to them, um, usually on my free time or on my commute to school. Uh, here's some more jailbroken apps. Backgrounder lets you run multiple apps at the same time in the background. KiraK sort of enhances that by letting you switch between them. QTweeter is, this is the settings application for QTweeter, as you see here, which lets you post to Facebook and Twitter from any application. Uh, I'll just show you SB settings real quick. I'd like to thank Danny Rodri on Twitter for sending me this theme. Uh, you could probably find it in Cydia, but I thought I could avoid it altogether, so he just sent me the files for this theme. This is the neon theme, I believe, so. And then this whole thing here is actually called SB settings. So the next one is swap mode, which lets you um, turn all of your jailbroken stuff off and go into stock mode. You can switch between jailbroken and stock mode pretty easily. Um, you should only go into the default mode if you want to, if you don't need the jailbroken stuff temporarily, or if you just want to see what it's like to have your device running at full speed. Terminal is the mobile version of terminal. If you're a Windows person, it is also like the command prompt. Updater gives you, it tells you whether or not your apps, whether they're cracked or from the App Store, has any updates. Again, we don't support piracy, so make sure you buy your app after you try them and appreciate it. Air Mouse lets you control your computer's mouse and keyboard wirelessly through Wi-Fi. Um, it's good if you plug in your computer to your TV and you're sitting on the couch. You could use this to control everything. Atomic Fart is a very hilarious app. I believe it's $1.99 in the App Store. Uh, just a bunch of nice farts in there. Uh, B.Dot Icicle is good if you ride bikes and you want to keep track of where you go and various stats. The Boxy is the Boxy Remote. Um, if you use Boxy's Media Center software on Windows, Mac, or Linux, you could use this to control it. Kamina is a really good app if you want to get the lyrics on the songs that you're listening to from your iPod. It does require the internet, but it's really cool because if you listen to music and you actually want to know what they're talking about, Kamina is a great way to go. Log me in lets me control my computer from anywhere in the world over Edge, 3G, or Wi-Fi. Foursquare is pretty obvious. Glow Doodle, really simple drawing app. It's really fun to play with. Um, get multiple colors on the bottom. You just tap on a color, draw, and then you tap on the glow button to make it glow. Then you could also press the undo button to undo everything you've done. So next we have IPTT, which I guess is for I push to talk. There's a bunch of different radio channels that you could talk to. Uh, 1.0 or channel 1.0 is pretty much a general chat. People there are pretty uneducated, so if if you want to talk about tech stuff, go to 9.3. Uh, Navigon, pretty sure it's the best GPS app for the for the iPhone and I believe the iPod Touch if you use an external GPS receiver. Pandora's obvious. Quick lets me stream live video as well as recording video to quick.com 
works over edge 3G or Wi-Fi, although it is recommended for 3G and Wi-Fi only. Shazam is... Okay, so let's say you hear a song on the radio that you don't know the name of. Turn on Shazam, let it, and it will tell you what the song is. Skype is obvious. Speed test lets you test your internet connection speed over edge 3G or Wi-Fi. WordPress is obvious. It lets me uh, manage various WordPress sites, including posts, pages, and comments from wherever. Wonder Radio lets me listen to thousands of different radio stations through my internet connection. Then here are all my games. Beer Toss, I remember beta testing this for Broken Thumbs apps. It's a really cool game. Uh, think of it as Paper Toss, but with beer glasses and really with really nice graphics as well as very nice music and sound effects. So I definitely recommend checking that one out. Uh, Boost, uh, think of it as Cannabalt, but you're in a 3D tunnel with 3D squares that try to get in your way and you have to maneuver around those things. And uh, Cannabalts, if you haven't heard of Cannabalt or played Cannabalt on their website, then you probably live in a cave. Kokoto Kart Online is a really nice kart racing game. Uh, those are probably my favorite sort of games for mobile devices. So Crash Kart is pretty much like Kokoto, but that's pretty much the one that got all these other ones started. Electron Zero, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of two promo codes for this game soon. Uh, think of it as Simon Says, but with a line. Uh, let me just show you a quick demo. Okay, so let me go to... Wait, let me show you the help screen. It pretty much tells you what to do. You have to watch what the game does. It's going to just draw a line on your screen, and then you have to do the same thing. Uh, the faster you draw the line, the more points you get. So let me give this a try. Okay, and then once you do the wrong sequence, it will give you your score, and you could submit it online. Now, one thing I like about this app compared to a bunch of other apps is because most apps that have some sort of online leaderboard uses something like Open Faint. This game uses Score Loop, which in my opinion is a lot nicer, more user friendly, and integrates nicely with an app. So next we have Cyber Runner. It's sort of like Boost and Cannibal, but it's a little. It's. They're all really good, weird little platformer style games. Flight Control, a very popular game. You, all you have to do is land the planes in their respective runways. Same thing for Harbor Master, but you have boats. Let's Golf is a really nice 3D golfing game. I like it over Tiger Woods because it's it's more fun to play and the graphics look a lot nicer. Mini Gore, don't really know how to explain that one. It's sort of like a weird third-person shooter. You just shoot these weird little animal creature things. Super Monkey Ball, obvious. Rayman 2 is a very nice game by Gameloft. Uh, I've never played the original Rayman, but this one's pretty fun. Super Monkey Ball 2, same thing as Super Monkey Ball 1, but with different, with, with nicer graphics and different characters. Or not characters, but different levels. And then we have Tap Tap Revenge 3, which you just touch the various notes for the various songs. So that's pretty much it. That was an overview of all of the apps that I have installed onto my iPhone. Leave any questions, suggestions in the comments area below. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash B-E-S-W-E-E-E-T. Um, and we will see you soon, so thanks for watching.